Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do uh, the daily vibes for around the full moon. So this is a super moon. Uh, it is a full moon um, in Sagittarius, but it is in the Gemini season. Some people don't understand that, so I'm just putting that out there. Um, I believe we are having an eclipse as well. So I'm going to do a couple of extra cards for this daily. And we're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that the timing is still fluid. This is what this full moon is bringing in. We're going to start right here. What do we have for a message today? Very emotional. Very, very emotional. I just saw the page of cups. So something about emotions. A flood of emotion. In your feelings. financial constraints so we got some bare cupboards the here uh, somebody is dealing or they're going to be dealing with some financial constraints needing to buckle down and save some money so something could be happening that is affecting the bank account okay suffering from financial problems by the looks of things um, yeah so let's see what else we got 13 Whenever I see the number 13, I, I immediately think of, you know, the death card because uh, that is the number 13. So something could be coming to an end. Uh, there's probably going to be a profound change. could also affect your bank account. Okay, so... Hmm. Let's get one of these. Temperance. It's interesting because when I started this reading, I wanted to say it's time. It's time. Whenever I see that card, you know, uh, I think the timing, the time is now. I feel like the time, it's a, the time is now. It's time for something better. And it's interesting because on the bottom of this deck I have the sun card and I was going to say that things are going to get better. I was Things are going to get better. This could be the end of some sort of financial constraints. So I do believe that this is things getting better, um, but there's going to be an exchange, okay, and there's going to be a need to accept and allow that things need to change. Now I have to tell you, temperance is number 14, comes after death. Okay, 13, 14, it comes after death. Okay, so there's something that is ending, okay? And I think that whatever is ending needs to end because it's caused so many constraints, right? So it's time. It's time to accept that something needs to end because it's only costing you. It's costing you, okay? So there's a need to accept and allow and make compromises. Something is definitely dying, and you can take that. How Some people are going to get triggered instantly because they hear the word and their fear, you know, it spikes. It's a, it's a spike of fear, you know, to hear that word. But... You know, it's kind of like, um, there's a saying, or I've read a lot about it lately, about um, oh, offense. People always getting offended. They get offended. They get offended. They get offended by this and that and whatever. But the truth is the truth. The truth is the truth. You know, if it's the truth and it offends you, well, that's your own trigger. Okay? There is something here that is dying. Okay? Because temperance comes after death. Okay, it is dying or it has died and it's cost. It's cost a lot. Okay, it's cost a lot. It's time to replenish. It's time to replenish those cupboards and those cupboards may be within yourself. Okay, that could be your heart, it could be your soul, it could be your your uh, spiritual self, it could uh, it could literally be your bank account. Okay, there is something that needs to be replenished. There's emptiness here. Those cupboards are empty, so that could be your body that is empty. There's something that is empty, and it need there's a change that is needed. 
Okay? So there, this is, it's time. The time is now. It is. It is. Now, I feel as though we have a change that is coming. This is a card. Temperance is a card of evolution. So this is a um, healing after a death. Okay, there will be a time of healing, a, a need to be patient and accept and allow that something is over. So I think this is a time of evolution and it is a time of change and uh, blending to create harmony and doing whatever it takes to create harmony and peace, you know, and that will require you to uh, make some sort of exchange, you know, you might have to let go of something of lesser value to accept whatever this new beginning, because at death, or endings always lead to new beginnings. So there's definitely a new beginning here as well. Now the sun card is a new beginning. So we do have a new beginning here that comes after an ending. But I feel like this is a change that is needed. There's been some sort of resistance. Okay. This is a need to in accept a change. A change is coming. Okay. It is. All right. So now we are going to use this deck. So what do we have? This is a better opportunity. It is. You're going to really need to manage your feelings during this time. Moderation is going to be needed. Patience is going to be needed. Um, acceptance of, what, of an ending. There is an ending here. I'm positive. Okay, and the answer is yes, because the sun card is a yes answer. Okay, yes, there is an ending here, but it does lead to something better. Okay, um, so something is coming to an end, and it's because there's an emptiness, and emptiness isn't healthy. Okay, it's not healthy. It's not healthy in any way. It doesn't make you feel good, right? can't live like that that's no way to live in a situation where you're not where you don't have abundance you are meant to have abundance you are so yeah there's a change oh here we go page of wands reverse now this is not good news okay this is not good news this is a setback, it could be bad news. Sounds like it's bad news, doesn't it? So we got some people that are triggered instantly when they start to hear bad news. I'm out of here. Bye. You don't want to hear bad news, you're in denial. You're refusing to evolve. You're going to continue to live in an empty space. Page of Wands reversed is unwelcome news. I feel like there is some unwelcome news that is coming. There is a level of confusion and indecision. We have somebody here that has lost their focus, makes excuses. This is no fun. There's no fun. This isn't fun. When you don't have enough, it's no fun. If you could accept that a change is needed, things will get better. Anyhow, let's keep going. Two of Cups, yin and yang. Interesting. I saw yin and yang before I turned on the camera. Um, two of Cups. So this is a, we have opposites. We have two opposites here. We have opposite polarities that are attracting um, a union, a partnership, this is about a partnership. It is. Somebody is not with a person that is very well suited for them. They are the suitor that they are with or they or that they've been with in the past that has drained them. That's draining. Somebody is drained, okay? Uh not very well suited. Not not a good partner. Chariot reversed. Very interesting because I had I had the chariot reversed here as well. 
and I didn't say it right here on this deck. We can bring it up. So that was stagnation, no movement, lack of discipline, staying stuck, staying put, uh, pretending that everything is okay, everything is not okay. We have somebody here that is really going to need to master their emotions. I feel like there's going to be an emotional outburst ahead, and I feel like there, it's because of a partnership where there's no passion, there's a lack of passion, there's a lack of growth, this is boring, it's no fun. I'm sorry, I'm in rare form. Um, it is no fun. It is no fun. So anyhow, um, the chariot reversed, uh, stuck, stagnant, going no place. Somebody's in a partnership that is going nowhere. Okay. Now I feel like there, I feel like emotions are going to be all over the place. I feel like there's going to be an emotional outburst ahead. Something is going to come to a dead stop. There could be anger. There could be an angry outburst. Things are about to change. We have somebody here that has lost their sense of direction. They have given their power away to, uh, I feel like it's a person. This person is uh, a negative Nelly, right? This person uh, is holding them down, is boring, is no fun, is passionless, but controlling. This is somebody that uh, is mean-spirited and aggressive. Somebody has given their power away to that person. If they, but it feels like uh, there's an opportunity for change. There is, but it comes after death, and death is an ending. So somebody has to, has to um, take the lead. They have to get in the driver's seat. They have to go. They have to take charge of their life. But right now, they, they haven't been able to. They haven't been able to do that because maybe there's a lack of confidence or a lack of willpower or a lack of drive or fear. Could be fear. But there is a union here. There's an opportunity for a better match. This is a better match where this is like meant to be. This is yin and yang. This is two people that are meant to be together that have a lot in common. Okay. And this is just some sort of partnership. It's some sort of union where there's compatibility. But there's a suitor over here that is not well suited. That's not a good good match. It's not. And this person has... And somebody may have been staying with this partner or person or... I don't know. It could even be a child. This person acts like a child. Anyway, that has been costing them money. There's, there's definitely finance... Somebody may be using somebody for money. Four of Pentacles. Oh my God. That just confirmed what I said. <laughs> Four of Pentacles. I'm sorry. I'm very dramatic. So what my tone and my ways during a reading is part of the reading because that's the energy. Okay? How I act, my, my outbursts, whatever. That's all part of the reading. That's the energy. Okay? That's how a reader is supposed to read. Anyhow, four of pentacles, that is about money, staying for the money, holding on for the money. Somebody is in a partnership that is not well suited for them, whether it's a job, I don't think it is though, I think it's a real union that they are holding on to just for the money. And maybe they're being used for money, it just confirmed what I said. This is about stability. It's about security. Somebody is, is wanting to hold on to something because it is secure, even though it's no fun, even though it's boring. But they're not really, there's emptiness here. There's emptiness. If there's no passion, if there's no love, if the, if the cupboards aren't filled, then, you know, it's time for a change. Anyhow. <clears throat> Five of Cups reversed. Death! I didn't, told you, I mean, I can't make this shit up. So there is definitely going to be a death. There's going to be a transformation. There's going to be an ending. Now, a death, you, some people are triggered really bad at this very moment, okay? And there's good, and I keep saying the word trigger. 
There's gonna be a trigger, okay? Some there's triggers, okay? There's the somebody. You are about to be triggered by a person that is mean spirited and aggressive, that doesn't have anything good to say, and you're probably pointing a finger at me. I'm triggering you, aren't I? Well, it ain't just gonna be me, so get prepared. All right. Uh, somebody is holding on to something for stability reasons. You know, it's something to hold on to. It's a partnership of some sort. There's a lot of grieving here. There's a lot of sadness. There's a prolonged grief. Um, there's trouble. There is trouble. I feel like there's they somebody's been staying put in a situation that is going nowhere, and I feel like there's about to be an outburst. I feel like there is. I think there's a new prospect with the Five of Cups reversed. There is. There's a new prospect here. There is a new love prospect here. Somebody has been uh, staying put right where they are. Anyhow, Death card is an ending. It is a transformation. Uh, emotions are going to be all over the place because there's. I think it's going to be abrupt. I wouldn't be surprised if we get the tower get prepared for a change. I think this is a massive change. I also feel like there are some addictions here. Some something could have something to do with drinking. There could I mean I'm not trying to scare anybody, but with the chariot reversed, there could be car accident because that is a car. Okay? There could be a there could be a car accident. And this is crying. It is crying. There is going to be emotions. There is definitely going to be this is an emotional loss of some sort. I mean, I'm just being honest with you. know, some people don't like to hear honesty. They only want to hear the, you know, rainbows, butterflies, and unicorns. Well, if that is the case, like I've said before, you better book your ticket to Disneyland. Anyhow, um, death is a profound change. Something is, somebody is leaving. They are leaving. See that sky? Th that if I can even hold on to it, okay? You can't hold on. I couldn't. You can't. If it isn't meant to be, this is leaving in the nick of time. You know, somebody is definitely leaving. You can't hold on to it. You can't hold on to something if it's not meant to be, if it's not love, if, if there's too much sadness, you know, if there's no uh, success. The chariot reversed is no success. So yeah, I do believe that there is going to be a departure, and I feel like it's. A, and I think that there could be an angry outburst. Emotions are going to be all over the place. This is a change that is needed because the the cupboards are empty. Okay, there's nothing in there. There's no reason to 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 stay in this predicament. So anyhow, um, I do feel like we have a we have a massive ending here. Um, hmm. We got two. Temperance is the last card. Look at that. This is a massive change. A need to accept. You're, this is accept and allow. This is evolution. And Knight of Wands is crazy. And it's interesting. I can't. I, I gotta. I just. You know. It's crazy. This is moving too fast. Rushing. Rushing. You know. Out of control. A sudden departure. I feel like we have a sudden departure here suddenly departing somebody is suddenly departing um and it's out of it's out of control you can't control it it's out of your control you can't control it getting in the vehicle something to do with the vehicle um a need to accept and allow that it, that that you deserve something better. This is something better. It really is. It's time. The time is now. I'm telling you what. And 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 that is. I'm telling you what. Infinity. The time is now. The time is now for this change. Knight of Wands is rushing out of control, moving extremely fast. There could also be a. I'm just being honest with you. A soulmate reunion here. Because this could be a reunion. This is definitely soulmates. 
There is soulmates here, but it is the yin and there we have soulmates here, and this is Kabir. I think that we do have a soul, two soulmates that are meant to be together, that are coming together, but it does come after a death. There's a higher power involved. We got the Hierophant. Could also be dealing with Taurus. It could be dealing with a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio. We have Sagittarius a couple times. Uh, Cancer. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius a couple times. Taurus. Um, there is going to be a change. Angry outburst ahead. There is another prospect here. And this is realizing that there's another prospect. Somebody's going to be receiving some bad news, unfortunately. And I feel like they have been stuck in a situation because of financial constraints, because of money, stability. And that's not what the higher power, God, this is a direct connection to God, wants. You just stay in a unhealthy, uh, less than abundant situation. Uh, <laughs> that's not. That's not what the universe wants. That's not what God wants. That's not. I do feel like there's a new commitment here as well with this hero font card. There's going to be a need to have faith and believe. In turn to God, something to do with God or a higher power here. We have, this is a direct connection to God. Listen. Out of control. This is out of your control. There is a higher power involved here. Things are going to change really, really, really fast. This is fierce, okay? This is very fierce. This is a fierce change. This is very emotional, extremely emotional. Emotions all over the place. We have a transition from one thing to another really, really, really fast. It does have to do with a partnership. We do have a person that is going to be receiving an offer that they can take to the bank. This is something you can hold on to. It's a new prospect. It is. I feel like it's meant to be. Endings lead to new beginnings. So right around the corner, we probably have something coming. This is a dead stop. It really, dead stop. Something is coming to a stop. It is going to come to a stop. It's going to come to a halt. Somebody's testing the waters as well. Somebody is also going to be testing the waters. There's going to be a need to be uh, grounded but also be fluid. Things are going to change extremely fast. This ending, it may be sad, but there's an opportunity here that is much better than these empty cupboards. Good luck. <laughs>